first first race back for two Long years time. for for a lot of teams. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's been a bit a bit of racing going on, but not a lot. What about yourself? What, what, what's, been, what's it been like? It's been oh, it's, well. It's very special to be back in Otley, um, mm. and like with the team in that atmosphere. Um, I've been racing for probably three months. We started off with Gorik and then Southern XC, and then some National XC. Done a couple of races on the track. It's not the same, um, <laughs> and just the whole process mm. going to a national series. I've missed that. So, and a big bunch. You know, normally I think the most we've had. 30 riders on the track, but it's not really 130. Um, and Otley's not the tightest of circuits, but it's still a fight. It's a, it's a, it's it's a bit a, like a commerce, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, I haven't done it for three or four years. Yeah. Um, Although the bottom corner can be quite, quite yeah. tight. <laughs> I know, I, I've never really raced that bottom corner, because when I, yeah. I, the only time I've done this race, I got dropped with about a lap to go. It was yeah. really cold, and Madison just <laughs> caught the brake. And, me up the back, but um, yeah. so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, stay away from well, Tom's not here, so that's not yeah. an issue. But yeah. um, I'm just I don't know, it's interesting. Like, everyone seems to be going real well, but then um, the national bees that have been on have been a bit odd, and the results have maybe not been what you expect. Or they've the one up here that Giles ran, like that early group went to the finish. And we were talking about this on the way up, I don't know what's how it's going to work. The traditional way the races used to work with Rally and JLT and Madison would ride yeah. and someone would win. I don't think that's going to be the case. Now we've got a lot of fast juniors. There's a lot of as fast well. juniors. There's a lot of people on small teams. Toby Barnes yeah. obviously going real strongly. Yeah. Boston. Well, Joey, who upset your hopes at Rochester. He's Joey, in, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, Joe Pidcock had that good finish at Mirabelle behind yeah. Maury. Um, Matt Gibson's back. Yeah, um, yeah it's exciting. Freddie. Freddie yeah. um, I think who else is in the start list? It's a lot of there's, there's a lot, a of, lot of, you know, of guys. Jim Brown, Reese Wood was obviously on the podium here last time it was on. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of guys. I think obviously everyone is probably quite keen. You got yeah. to, you, you know, you race it like it's the last event, yeah. maybe. So physically, doing XC. Is that is that a, a more physically harder event than sitting in a nat big bunch? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I haven't yeah. done any nat bees for ages. Right. It's I don't know. XC is hard. It's mm. obviously really hard and yeah. really, but it's more of a time trial style effort, really. Yeah. In terms of your heart rate, like power would be on and off, really jumpy. But then you know, by hopefully by half an hour in, it kind of split. You're just riding round in the woods on your own kind of thing. It's like, it's quite steady in terms of your heart rate. And there's a, there's a lot to think about. You have to be really concentrated, but less so in terms of like recovery. So I feel like it's been good and it's been a thing that's, it has helped me be motivated for training, have something to do, go through the race weekend process, tapering, recovery, all of that kind of thing. Um, definitely not unfit, yeah. but I, I've only raced my road bike once since <laughs> last year you know i did the so how, how, how often would you i mean we've got a bunch of 130 in this race yeah is that going to be something new to you for a while for a little while since yeah. 2019 probably like the last very proper race i did was sherpa three day yeah getting on for two years ago and that was it was 150 french riders yeah. it was technical it was fast it was lumpy sprint finishes but then since then nothing um, so that's the question for me, I think, just take a couple of laps to figure it out. I haven't, I've steered clear of going to Hillingdon or yeah. anywhere like that, just because everyone keeps falling off. It's Hillingdon, I think they call it now, aren't they? You know, it's <laughs> not worth it. Um, yeah. But then here, like, it's not a Durham or a Wembley or yeah. Bath or something, it's quite flowing. Mm. It's not too tight circuit. Um, because we've got, we've got a full team of eight here, so hopefully it's a little bit easier to, to move around the bus. What's it like riding for a team like Andy's team there? You know, because you've ridden for UCI teams and yeah. things like that. Uh, I would imagine it's quite a different, whole different atmosphere. Less pressure, less stress. I think so. It's, well, it's been good for me this year because there's less pressure to do. I've got a like off-road programme. 
doing a few things. I'm going to the PMBA, PMBA Clan Gothelin in August, mm-hmm. try and qualify for the EWS. So I'm kind of picking and choosing what I'm doing. And, and that's good because I'm motivated to do the events that I am doing, yeah. you know, and commit to them. Do I think like, like, like Pickcock and Benderfall and Well, that's yeah. the inspirational model, isn't it? Yeah. That's the dream. Um, but then the support when we do do a road race, you know, they brought a van and a camper today. We've got a chairs. So we've mm. got. I haven't had to worry about bringing rollers or anything like they do yeah. do it properly yeah. for the select events um, and for the the calendar in the UK at the moment. It doesn't take. They can do that, and I think support us as well as any UCI team because we're not racing every week. We're not doing stage races. It doesn't take loads of resources. It's just support as well for the events that are on um, and then the travel is obviously say, a bit is more it, restricted you know I mean, with only, you've only got two of these events now and this one in Ilkley yeah then you've got three tourist series yeah it's not too demanding no which again then means it's not too gratifying yeah. <laughs> and I can't do Ilkley I'm a national mountain bike champs but yeah, yeah it's not too demanding um, it just feels a bit weird it's, you normally think end of June you'd have done so the events, probably three or four preps, plus a tour series, plus the auction, plus simple. Um, but there's now it's obviously the first race, um, and the rest of the races aren't till August. Yeah, yeah. but that's what, what about the national champs? Yep, for that one, I think so. I've raced that circuit before. Like it's a pretty good circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So three or four years ago, they did it's a support short. race. It's only about 900 sure. meters. Yeah pretty technical I did it in tipping rain now someone said it, it, it was a little bit like Rochester is it not really I no. think because it's a bit it's a bit like Skipton wow. I think or mother it's like Rochester had a lot of changes of speed mm. um, had some quite tight bends didn't yeah it? and tight bends and, and just the hill and everything where there's this circuit is a lot more flowing it comes, it joins the top. When you come out of Michael Gate on the steep bit of the cobbles yeah. and turn right to go to the finish, it comes in from the left, yeah. flows through that chicane, and it's the same finish line, and then it's just a, a loop. So it's, I think it, it's a more typical crit circuit than Rochester. Hopefully it's raining, it's the middle of October, it's wet cobbles. <laughs> I, did, I did it four years and ago. And in the dark. In the dark, Tom Pickock just rode off, but I was there before <laughs> behind him. And, um, that's a cool one. I thought when it was announced, I thought, oh, it would be that circuit. Yeah. That would be, be fun. Cool. And then Road Champs will be fun. And then it's the National Hill Climb is on Winnets this year, first time since 1977. So I'm quite up for that, just to be part of it, if I can get an entry. So um, it's going to be a busy end of final year for you? I think so. Do a, yeah, mountain bike stuff in August. Chill. Mm. Hopefully the team will go to three days of Sherbourne, beginning of September, get a bit of a roadblock yeah. done. Um, and then race in October, you know, for missing yeah. everything. Um, but it's a really good circuit, the one. Um, and, and, and final one, these these events, you're travelling a long way. Um, a good day out? Yeah, it's always not. I mean, it's been quite relaxed for me and the team because I haven't had to drive. So we've had a chill journey up. We're going to go for a little spin now when we go up to Ilby or just. And then we're stay, stopping up in Shipley in Bradford tonight. Yeah. It's about 10k for the race, so I'm like, right, if it's not raining, we'll ride there. Yeah. And then we've got a day's training in the Peak District tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we we'll managed to get the time off, so. Um, Enjoying the bike. Yeah, always. Enjoying life. And because I'm not riding the road bike too much, yeah. I'm on my XC bike four times a week. Yeah. So then it's keeping it fresh and. Avoiding TTs. <laughs> I've done, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the roads are so busy, the traffic yeah. is so bad, everyone's so aggressive, I feel quite unsafe training out on the road. If I go out in the yeah. woods, then it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've often thought that. Yeah. Uh, cheers, Isaac. No worries.